Welcome back guys. Today we're going to go over a couple options, uh, a couple of aftermarket accessories that I had asked a dealer to install. Uh, one is the vent covers. I'll show those to you uh, next. But first, this is the UltraGuard full length rear mud flap. Because I'm telling the Jeep I don't want to, uh, the front of the Jeep to get all chipped by rocks. I'd like to do what I can to try and keep it as nice as possible. Why am I, why do I have the box and the mud flap? Well, because the day I went to the dealer, they said that they the wrong one came in and uh, they reordered the right one. They said a little tiny one came in instead of this one and uh, they would drop ship it to me. So, lo and behold, here I go. Now I'm installing it. I mean, I guess I could either drive three hours back up to Albany, have them put it on, or I can put it on. So, I'm going to put it on. But you also need something else. I, just, I looked at this the other day and the instructions said... Uh, to look at, to, if you don't have a place to mount under your rig, you might have to buy their specialized L bracket or any L bracket. Their L bracket is specially drilled for the holes to mount this bumper. So I ordered theirs for like 27 bucks from RV Upgrades. And it came unboxed and unpainted. It was, it was uh, bare steel. So last night I put some Rust Oleum on it and I cleared it. Uh, this way it doesn't rust out. Uh, probably would have lasted five, six years the way it was, but it would have basically rusted out. It probably would have been dragging the mud flap somewhere along the line uh, down on the highway, and I would have had to tear it off, and it probably would have been raining and nasty, and it would have been a heavily traveled in this interstate where it came off. So, <laughs> lo and behold, I painted it. I took care of that. Uh, we're going to put it on. It's going to mount to the frame rails. Look at your rig if you're installing one of these. Because if you don't have a vertical oriented surface to, that runs all the way across, you're going to have to buy an L bracket. Because the L bracket bolts to basically the frame rails and then it creates a vertical surface for this to bolt to. So I'm going to put the part number down below, the UltraGuard part number, and uh, see if we need that. So let's get on with this installation. Putting on safety glasses, and when I get to the bigger drill bit, I'm going to use these gloves. So I'm going to drill some pilot holes first. I got this clamped in place. Hopefully, it stays. So that was easy, but uh, yeah, definitely safety glasses when you're going to be drilling. Hot metal comes down from this frame when you're drilling. Hot metal shards come out. You don't want one of those pieces in your eye. You only get two eyes, not the other one. Whew. Yeah, half inch holes are uh, be exhausting. Don't drop the angle line on your head. So I got 17 inches from the ground to the um, to the bolt holes that hold this mud flap on. This mud flap, as per the manufacturer, is supposed to be at least four inches off the ground. So I'm going to need um, 13 inch, 13 inches on the mud flap from the holes to the bottom uh, to be within specs. 
so we're going to have to do some trimming on that mud flap inside. Alright, so I've got 13 to be just past this line right here. Uh, let me see if I might go, let me find some sort of spacer. That would give me an inch here, and I've got to trim this with a knife. Alright, so it doesn't cut too terrible, uh, as long as you take your time, you don't do get too aggressive. It cuts just with a uh, utility knife. These holes, you can see, don't go all the way through. So, I'm going to have to drill that out as well. Alright, so the kit also came with these um, these reflectors and strips that fit into these pockets that, uh, of course, that part of the thing I trimmed off. So you don't need those. Those are some screws to help attach it. The holes I made in the frame, I also used the two-part process. These are the paints I used downstairs. I used a flat rust-oleum cover on the left, and then I put a rust converter on top, which gave a little bit of sheen. and. Uh, also preventive maintenance with the rust. Now let's go outside, I'll show you the finished product. Hey, there's your finished product. It's a mud flap. But uh, hopefully we'll keep my Jeep uh, chip free for the most part. Let's head up head up top and I'll show you those vent covers. This is the one for the rear, the bedroom. a different vent cover than usual because uh, if it doesn't have enough airflow that fan can actually overheat so this is the most airflow now up ahead is the vent fan for the bathroom which is a standard vent fan but these are great because it could be raining and I could have ventilation I got fans running I could ventilate the camper I don't have to worry about inclement weather and to clean them out they just attach with little clips I wanted to get up here and clean them out, I can do so. So those were installed at the dealership. Uh, the mud flaps were supposed to be installed at the dealership. I don't know, it probably took me a couple of hours to put that mud flap on. Mounting the angle bracket, trimming it, mounting it. I think it was maybe more work than they had anticipated. Maybe they want to put it on, or maybe in fact it needed full size. There you have it, there's the Ultra Guard install. Um, like I said, it took about two hours to install this, not including uh, painting that thing last night, the angle iron. But between, uh, hopefully this helps you out if you're installing one of these, especially on a Class C. You're going to need the angle iron, so order that. You're going to need to trim it. You're going to need that to do that as well. So you're going to have to make a few modifications to this. You could order the smaller side, the 16-inch side, as long as you stay with the 94 inches wide. Uh, you could order that small size if it saves you money, and you could just trim it. But uh, hopefully, if you're installing one of these, this helps you out, and uh, thanks for stopping by. If you like this video, be sure to give us a thumbs up and subscribe. You could also find us on TravelingTarots.net, Facebook, YouTube, Google+, and Instagram.